Welcome to No Such Thing as a Bad Movie. I'm April Litmanski, and I'm here today with... Justin DeClue! And Colin Cunningham. It's pronounced, uh, Gili. I thought you were going to say, it's pronounced <laughs> Jalen. People have been Jalen. saying it wrong all it's this time. Jalen, like brawlin. Rhymes yeah. with brawlin. Um, Jalen okay. Cunningham. For some reason, it's a soft C at the beginning and a hard <laughs> C in the, in the last name. Well, you know what? Uh, it was about time I made you guys watch another romantic comedy. Um, uh, but is this that is, what this uh, is? This is not <laughs> what, yeah. romantic nor a comedy. Uh, well, I mean, it's... I don't Let's know. go back to Little Italy. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. please. Oh, man, that, that makes that movie look like uh, Schindler's List. Um, which I've still never seen. Um, I just <laughs> so meant you good. Know. It makes a, <laughs> Maybe it's a shot-for-shot for shot remake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Geely, 2003. Jesus The Christ. Ben Affleck, J-Lo, um, I guess you would call it a vanity picture. Um, they were dating at the time. Yeah. So it was we need like, to go back to a time that when this movie came out because people yeah. would not stop talking about this. Benifer. Ugh. That's what it was called. Oh, God. But I think this was maybe even before she went by J-Lo. I think she was still just Jennifer Lopez. At no, she always went by J-Lo, didn't no, she? No, no. That be- no, it became a thing at a certain point. Okay. Like when she was dating Puff Daddy, it was Puff Daddy. It wasn't P. Diddy. It wasn't Diddy. It was just... It was, she yeah, started so to it be called J-Lo in 2000 one okay so she wasn't always called j no she was changed right she changed her name just for this movie Mm -hmm. uh yes um so uh people wanted people wanted to see them together because they were obsessed with them did people want to see them together or did they want to like hate seeing them together yeah there was a hate hate on them and then this movie came out it was a horrible horrible bomb and then they broke up after now i think i heard that maybe they broke up before it even came out which made it even more awkward Mm. and now guys they're back together yeah Um, forever in the end yeah, I think they got remarried or something. Oh, and Ben Affleck sequel. has never yeah. looked happier. Let me go look some photos up of him. Oh, hey, he doesn't did, look did so hot. Guys, did you guys see that Dunkin' Donuts commercial he did for the Super no. Bowl? Oh, well, God, no. he like comes in. I think she's in it too, and he like does like a song and dance with Matt Damon. Oh boy, um, it's terrible. But also, I wanted to do this movie because Jennifer Lopez has a vanity quote-unquote movie mm. out right now on Amazon Prime, but it's only 60 minutes long. I did my due diligence, and I watched 20 minutes of it, and then I went, I'm good. <laughs> I don't I blame you. I, April we, watched it last I night. I did watch it last night, but it was hard to get through. Uh, I, 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 The trailer made it look good. Sorry. It looks, the but, trailer was like uh, very visually interesting. It's like, holy shit. Wow, yeah, we thought it was going to be a musical spectacular extravaganza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of, I wish uh, I just wish the music was good. Wait, yeah, do music, you the like are bad. the early J Lo stuff? I do. Yeah, I okay. listened to it no, quite I've a bit. Never, when I was, I've never, I wasn't yeah, like, I'm not familiar with it. Well, I wasn't like I'm a diehard J Lo fan, but it was uh, the pop music that I was listening to at the time. Yeah, I loved her earlier. I, stuff. I couldn't even name one of her songs. Her song with Fat Joe, who is in that as uh, a terrible actor. She, I just don't think she's a good singer. I don't like her voice. After seeing that, the, I'm like, songs, you're right. She sucks. She has this like kind of weird baby auto-tune voice it's she's really... famous like for kind of for being famous she's not really that great a singer she's not really that great an actress i mean i thought she was really good in selena that very very early movie that she's she an, did she's, an okay. she's really she good in out good. of sight yeah oh, she's I good saw that um, did you guys see the cell she's amazing that's that. right the yeah. cell do you think um, she wanted tarsem for this she's like and instead what can we get for this for uh, the guy who made the hitcher no her hour-long music video oh, the music video. oh video. no oh, by the way it's called i sorry um this is I, me i am here now, now. <laughs> i am yeah. here and, and as soon as that came out the neil breen jokes were off the chain on on twitter well when i saw the trailer i was like oh shit did she get tarsem back like it, the visuals yeah. looked yes. like it um, but shitty no. <laughs> yeah exactly um yeah and I, and i will say for that movie um great choreography it's uh, all right there, there's some fun dance choreography and some kind of cool sets but also like towards the end we were like oh my god like her face doesn't look real she does it looks like they digitally like made her face like a triangle it's very strange there's a lot of visual like that had to cost a lot of money also I'm sure. all her like celebrity friends are like in a council in a cloud and they all play uh, zodiac signs it's like that the council and like psycho gorman it reminded me of it, was <laughs> it was like reminded that. me of clash of the titans or something it's yeah like they i don't know if you got back. that far justin but it's ridiculous like post i did get up there. there yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing neil degrasse yeah. tyson jane oh. fonda just insufferable 
Boy, speaking of insufferable, okay. Jesus Christ. This movie. Yeah, uh, but Directed yeah, this by, movie, though. Like, I, I'm well, going to keep coming back to this again and again. Not why you picked it, but why did people make this like, this is the worst movie ever? I can look at, like, most of Will Smith's movie career, and he has movies just as bad. Uh, yeah, this, this is, is pretty bad. Seven I pounds. Was, <laughs> yeah, I think it was just, like, the fact that they're together. And it's, oh, uh, people How always dare make a, you be happy? People yeah. always make a big deal of you know, like kind of nepotism, like when you see after earth or something mm-hmm. and uh, like people just want to fucking hate, like you the right. fact that you put your goddamn son in this movie. The, it's just They like, make a big deal about couples in real life yeah, um, yeah. being in movies. If, if they fall in love on the movie, it's okay. Mm-hmm. But like if it's, you know, yeah, it's like it they're fe- shoving it's, it in your face. It, yeah, feels, <laughs> it feels like a vanity picture, it's, which not everybody likes. They're trying to like monetize their kind of relationship love, or yeah. whatever. And well, it's just, it's so bad. It was supposed to be Halle Berry. Halle Berry as, I, as J-Lo? Can't see uh, yep. it being any better. As J-Lo, <laughs> and it was supposed to, uh, yeah, but she couldn't make it because of X2, which went ran over schedule. Oh, I see. Lucky for her. I if, don't know if, if it would be any better. No, if she had been in it, no, it would have been terrible. If she had been in it, though, like we wouldn't be talking about this today. No one That's would care. That's probably true. Yeah, it would be it so forgettable. It's true. a famous punchline. Yeah. I, I, I mentioned this because I always say, oh, I got to go home and watch this movie uh, to my coworkers. Now, one of them is a lot younger than me, but they'd never heard of this. I was like, mm. are you kidding me? You've never heard of Geely? <laughs> did you say Geely or did you say Jiggly? Uh, <laughs> Jiggly? No, they haven't. They would have had to be right then when the movie yeah. was coming out. I guess out. so. Yeah. They're, both, sure. they're both younger than me, so I yeah. guess it makes sense. Now, um, this movie uh, this movie costs seventy. Five million. That is wild. Maybe that it is wild. went to Al Pacino, insane, <laughs> and Christopher Walken. But at the and same time, I don't care how much it cost. <laughs> like, I know it's, it all it went to terrible. producers, probably. Yeah, you're I'm right. sure it's so it's so ugly. It yeah. takes place mostly in one apartment. Yeah, mm-hmm. just this dumpy, shitty, ugly apartment, and, uh, and yeah. man, oh man. And d- directed by Martin Brest, who, and it ruined his career. It, uh, um, which is shocking to me because like. You know, Midnight Run is fucking amazing. I love yeah, Midnight Run. Guys, if you movie. looked at his filmography, he made Meet Joe Black before this. Yeah, which yeah. was that a Scent hit? Scent of the Woman no, before that. So. Which well, was a hit. Scent of a Woman, huge hit. Terrible huge. movie. <laughs> Meet Joe Black is bad, too. I liked uh, it when I first saw it because I was a teenager, and then I, I was like, wait a minute, that movie's terrible. Beverly it's, Hills it's Cop. three hours long. Amazing. Uh, yeah, Which, Beverly yeah but costume. that's poorly directed. It's all about Eddie in that movie. Whatever. <laughs> and the soundtrack. Movie. But he also made Going in Style in 1979, which I haven't seen. And he made like an indie film in the uh, 77, which was like a purely independent thing. Uh, Orson Welles shows up in it. Wow. What? Oh yeah, yeah so called he, Hot Tomorrows. He was set up to be a super successful director. And then I get like, so, but yeah, Scent of a Woman was the wasn't the, somebody Huge. win an Oscars for yeah, that? Yeah, Al Pacino. Yeah, that he movie's wanted, dog shit though. It's no, real I, bad. I agree. I also <laughs> don't. I, I don't like it. Um, yeah, but, but it's it's just one of those like popular. It's one like, of those like it makes you feel it's, good. It's like your heartfelt. your parents' favorite movie or something. Yeah. You know? Wait, <laughs> when did uh, Rain Man come out? Nineteen eight. Yeah, it's Rain Man exploitation. That's what. Central oh, Woman big time. Is. Yeah. yeah. There's a there's a well, name geez, for so it. So is this but, movie. Well, that's what he's saying. It's oh. yeah, it, ugh, mm-hmm. it's just um, just rotten. And okay, I have to confess something. I confused this movie with Jersey Girl. Oh uh, yeah, everybody does. Because I'd, I'd much rather up. watch Jersey Girl, she but she dies in Jersey Girl in thirty Jersey minutes. Girl, yeah, yeah. J Lo does. Yeah. yeah, really. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I've never actually seen it, but so everybody I, knows. I had <laughs> no idea what this movie was about at all. Like I, well, I, I did. I don't think I mean, anybody remembers other than April what this movie is about. So yeah, they had broken up by the time Jersey Girl came out. Oh, I that, see. That's well, who's idea. his co-star in Jersey Girl then? Uh, Liv Tyler. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, well, when that go. came out, I remember the commercials actually had Kevin Smith in them talking to you. <laughs> saying, hey, it's me, Kevin Smith. You guys, see. He, he, he basically, I remember, I don't know why I remember this. He's like, guys, you got to come see this movie. It's Ben Affleck and the chick from Lord of the Rings. And let me tell you, the torch of Gondor is lit. Oh my That's God. That's what he said to try and get people to see this movie. 2004 was like, and I know I don't talk about the man very much, Kevin Smith's fever. <laughs> <laughs> because like he was directing Jersey Girl, and which was a film like Sh- Vilmos uh, Zygmunt shot it, the famed oh, cinematographer. No. Uh, he had just directed Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, a movie they should have never let him make, which is just a fan <laughs> film that was somehow released wide theatrically. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that movie. This is one where like um, they're like running on Hollywood backlots. Yeah. 
Yes. And like Mark uh, Hamill is the I've bad guy or something. One. I mean, uh, I, I Will Ferrell's in the movie. John oh, Stewart. Dear uh, God. Carrie Fisher. Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott's in it. Oh yeah. It's, Gus Van Sant in a very ridiculous. favorite, ca- a very funny cameo. Ugh. Horrible. Um, but yeah. Uh, so Ben Affleck in a lot of movies around this time. <laughs> Uh, he is horrible. But he in this was movie. really losing. I, I think, a don't public think opinion. Ben Affleck is a good actor. I'm just gonna say it. Mm, I, I love the I, guy. I think he's funny. Yeah. When he there's a Jersey Girl special feature where it's him and Kevin Smith talking, just them in a room talking. And at one point, I don't remember what sets him off. Ben Affleck is like, "How much? How much stuff do you need to sell? Oh, I need Jay and Silent Bob bookshelves. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's funny." Yeah, he uh, he is not funny in this movie. Or no, he is no, just, no, no, he's absolutely and terrible. To be fair, the script is absolutely abysmal. But yeah, he's he's awful. Written um, by Martin Brest I as well. Was this like his passion project? Did yeah, he, he, write- he said he only works on movies. I read an interview with him that he did this year that he would only work on movies one at a time. Uh-huh. And so like yeah, he would have like nurtured it from the ground up. Jesus Christ, like, why this idea? Like, yeah, and I, think I about, don't, okay, because people don't know what the idea, idea is, which is Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck take care of a simple Jack. That is what the movie is. Well, they kidnap one. And yeah. Jennifer Lopez is a lesbian, that, which ha, which is harped on constantly throughout the movie. It, it's 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 a, really aping off Chasing Amy, too. Yeah, it's just... Uh, uncom- oh, it is a snooze. Kevin Smith again. It's going to come up several times on this podcast. It's so, but it's just, it's so uncomfortable. This movie made me so uncomfortable. I agree. It, it was just, it's just so embarrassing to watch, like, these people. And, like, the dialogue they're given are just like, oh, God. God. But yeah, like I think that this movie partially made people hate Ben Affleck for a long time. <laughs> and I don't think he's a bad actor. Oh, I, I think he's okay. I don't think he's great. Um, Wait, I, think I just read here that uh, Ben Affleck's directorial debut was a student short film entitled I Killed My Lesbian Wife, Hung Her on a Meat Hook, and Now I Have a Three Picture Deal at Disney. So the lesbian character uh, is a continuing thing in Ben Affleck's career. Wow. He's, he likes to depict himself as a lesbian whisperer, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, they just can't resist me, um, which is, the, again, bizarre. But I mean, the God. sexual politics now are a little different. Back at this time, it was like, you are either gay or straight. And now people are just like, well, you know, bisexuality does exist. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's it, like Chasing Amy is kind of like gross where it's like, she's portrayed as like betraying her lesbian friends because she has oh, yeah, an attraction they, like, leave to a the man. Room. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they like shun her. And it's again, like it's, it's bisexual erasure erasure. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Just like the mom in this movie says, hey, experiment, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I did. Does that bring oh. you a little bit of little Italy uh, vibe where you're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a, that was the, wait, was she in little Italy? That was No, the mom. just cause she's Italian. Yeah. That's so all. She was in the uh, big fat Greek wedding, that lady. Yeah, yeah she was. <laughs> so, a well, somebody, movie. I think one of the characters mentions little Italy in this movie. <laughs> Al Pacino. But, he's like, this ain't little Italy. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I wish, wish it was. was little Italy. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was watching April's that movie. favorite movie. Yeah, oh my that God. movie's great. <laughs> so here we get, we're introduced to Ben Affleck in the beginning. You think he's like narrating to camera. He's in like a laundromat. Uh, he's playing like this wise guy with like this big pompadour. He always wears like bowling shirts too. Those bowling shirts and a terrible haircut. Ill-fitting bowling shirts, which was all the rage, I guess. Yeah, Ugh. loose bowling shirts. And I guess he's like, uh, he works for Lenny Venito uh, as like a collection guy, I guess. You got me. I couldn't really uh, follow what the stupid plot was supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, there is a kind of funny running joke with Lenny Venito. Uh, he's always at this restaurant. <laughs> so we called him restaurant guy because he's at the restaurant for like half of the movie. Yeah. He's at a phone booth. And yeah. It, yeah. At one scene, <laughs> yeah, I, I, was like, Ugh, I was I wish I was watching... Um, that other Midnight Run movie. <laughs> yeah, of this. well, it seems like he's aping like the same type of dynamic where he keeps calling this guy, and it's like the mm-hmm. Joe pa- Joe Pantoliano character in Midnight Run. Um, Man, I wish we watched that. Isn't it <laughs> wild that this movie is famously butchered and it's still more longer than two hours? Oh, is it really? Martin Breast's thing is ridiculously long movies. That yeah, he Joe says, Black I don't make like movies very often, but when I do, I like to put everything in them. And it's like, yeah, it sucks though, man. Stop it. <laughs> do you think he grew up like having people making fun of his uh, last name because his last name is Breast? Breast. 
So he's like, I'll give you a bad last name. Gigli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's, that's the other thing that I think why this movie was so famous is the bad name. Yeah, like, for sure. It's a ridiculous word. It's a, it, Maybe Jiggly, someone's name giggly. is, well, the Gigli saw we, we mentioned, that's mm-hmm. that real thing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, named after a person. Um, so it is a name. But again, if it was just called like... Um, you know, love on the run or something like that. It would <laughs> yeah, be, it, no one would for, remember it. That sounds like a Gerard Butler rom-com or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I have Will Smith stuck in my head, but I'm thinking of like, God, the Will Smith movies we talked about this podcast have been so bad. <laughs> like we even a more. winter's tale. No, oh my God. A dog shit movie. <laughs> He's ah, barely in that, but yeah, I mean, Cause it's the thing so, about Geely okay. is it's just boring. Like yeah. nothing really happens in it. Oh, it's just, and it's just the fact that like, it's set at this fucking apartment. Yeah, like, like the whole, so almost the whole movie. much of the movie is in this and stupid apartment. And it's just talking and complaining at each other. Like, uh, you know, our mentally handicapped character is introduced and they they don't really show him that much. I think that they were like, yeah, this is offensive. Maybe let's cut some of his scenes out uh, of There's the still a lot of him in this movie. I know, yes. but he does disappear for, you know, yeah. long stretches. It, it's... it's Oh, I just, I, I had bad. forgotten about this or I just didn't know about this plot line. I'm like, oh my God, oh, no. You, yeah, maybe you just oh, didn't no, 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 no. This is the guy uh, that he had a pretty good career because he would go on to be in the National Treasure movies and the unconscious guy in the Hangover films. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's who he was. That's who but, he is? Oh, I mean, my he God. was on a TV show, I think called The New Normal, maybe. Oh, and, never and I think he played it. a gay husband or something like that. Oh, boy. Um, but I, I was some CBC. See your ABC His performance in this is just, it's just, it's offensive. It's just, wow. He co starred in a uh, romantic comedy I've never heard of called The Rebound from 2009. Oh. That the three top people are Catherine Zeta Jones, Justin Bartha, him, and Art Garfunkel. What? Art Garfunkel? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Why is he in a movie? Um, oh, he okay. acted a lot. Because oh, he's really? in a bunch of like Nick Rogue films. Yeah, he's in Carnal Knowledge, the I Mike Nichols know, film. I did not know that. He's in uh, Jennifer Lynch's, David Lynch's daughter, Boxing Helena. Oh, yeah. Well, he also uh, did a guest voice on an episode of Arthur, the cartoon mm. show. Playing Sons. himself? He, he, he was. He played a singing uh, moose. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Part of a duo. That, you know. No, there yeah. was, it was just Part of him. a duo, the uh, <laughs> less successful one. That, uh, <laughs> that maybe Paul Simon would be like a raccoon, probably. Yeah, much mm. shorter than him. Yeah. For sure. One thing about Lenny Venito, uh, I'm like, wow, God, I feel like I know this guy. Like, he's just got one of those faces and like voices, you know? Yeah. And you suggested like... Like, oh, he's probably done like a bunch of cartoon voices. And I looked him up and he had a voice in Shark Tale. Mm. That's probably like a wise oh, guy. Type. Now that's a movie we have to do. Yeah. yeah. And so I looked him up and uh, he was in the wild. The animated <laughs> he was. Movie. Yes. Yeah. He played one of the alligators in the New York uh, uh, sewer system. So you didn't get to meet any of the actors that did voices, Oh, no, did no, you? no, no. Oh, no, yeah. They put them all in a room, April. That's how you do uh, <laughs> animated things Maybe. so they can play off each yeah, other. Yeah, you're right. They probably just recorded like where, from wherever, from L.A. or uh, something. Kristen yeah. Schaal, the star of the TV show Gravity Falls, very popular. She never met the other actor who plays her brother until like the series was done. The oh, whole God. Time? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not even at a rap party? Nothing? No, because no, they're probably in different... Co- I think they were in like different uh, cities when they were yeah. recording it. So. Oh, yeah. boy. Well, yeah, it's yeah. all remote. I mean, look at us. We're recording remote right now. I know. Well, uh, Lenny Venito, he d- gives a job to, to Ben Affleck. He says, you've got to kidnap this this mentally handicapped gentleman because, uh, I don't know, he implies that like, somebody owes him money. So No, is- uh, the plot is that it's the brother of a prosecutor that is prosecuting Al Pacino. Right. But is uh, Al Pacino like Lenny Venito's boss? Uh, supposedly, no, I, don't I think know. he, yeah, he is, but Lenny DeVito is acting without Al Pacino say so. Yeah. Right. Um, That's what's happening. Uh, He's like trying to get in his good books by like kidnapping yeah. the, the brother of the prosecutor, um, uh, somehow trying to like, I don't know, make the prosecutor like drop the case or something yeah. like that. And I mean, um, very dumb idea there. This is a terrible movie. Um, but I can find things to like, and I will say <laughs> Lenny Venito He's he's good. He's funny. He's like, yeah, you fucking asshole, you idiot. He's just like, you know, on, well, on edge at every there's moment. Three performances that kind of exactly. save this movie. And good for good for us and uh, good for this podcast. Yeah, my and favorite. He's one, he's one of them. Okay. He's really adding some some life to these scenes. And like, 100%. Ben Affleck. 
Ugh. Man, he's bad. Like he's Such just a... so bad in this. Oh uh, yeah, he just yeah, he like, sucks. Like, sucks the air like, out of again, the room. Again, it's a combo of like it's like he didn't like read his lines enough but practice before the scene. It's like he's trying to like remember them like during the, the takes almost. <laughs> like he's just not present. Yeah, I, you know? and he's kind of like an asshole, especially at the beginning when he, and he kidnaps this uh, mentally handicapped guy. He's such an asshole to him. Yeah, um, it, it's under the premise like the the kid loves Baywatch or something. So he mm-hmm. just pretends he's taken him to the Baywatch set to yeah. get him out of this. And then it's like, he's in his car and he's pretending to talk to the Baywatch production, but on his like flashlight. Yeah. I'm like, Oh my God. For some reason in, in my head, I thought it was a shoe, but no, that's no, it's, a, it's a that's flashlight. Yeah, that it was, it was a reference to get smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Baywatch production is shutting down. <laughs> The thing about this movie is I remember at the time there was interviews that like they would do scenes over and over again. And one of the reasons it went over budget is that like Martin Brest couldn't make up his mind. So they played everything a million different ways. Oh, dear. God. Wow. And then this is Which what is why, up with. Yeah. The film like edited for like 18 months or something like that. Ridiculous. Oh, God. We did Just. 15 takes and that was the <laughs> that best was the one. Best one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, Gili takes the kid back to his apartment. Uh, and we say kid, it's like a 25 year old man. Yeah, yeah, sure. I forget his name in the movie. That's why I don't Simple know. Jack. Yeah, sure. But remember. it's like. He has a name. I just you better remember. get used to this apartment, Mike, because you're going to be seeing a lot of it in yeah, this movie. It's like the room. Uh, it's just, it's so ugly and just gross. And then like J-Lo shows up. Uh, at his door, you know, she's saying, oh, can I use your phone? Like, you know, I just moved in, blah, blah, blah. Showing a lot of torso in this Her scene. low-rise jeans in it, this scene, yeah. uh, they're just, like, insane. They are, they couldn't be any lower. <laughs> they were the style, Colin. I was there. But um Like, you can see I her agree. butt crack pretty much yeah. like, coming out of her ass. <laughs> yeah, she's got and, oh, uh, that is disgusting. You wear those up to your navel or not at all? Oh, she's, like, crawling around. <laughs> That's and, like, the style uh, now. Yeah, she's being all sexy on the phone, and Ben Affleck's like, oh, who is this Who she's, is this girl? She's, dude, you know what she's doing. She knows. But, yeah, and then she she says, look, like, Lenny Venito doesn't trust you, uh, so he's hired me as well to kind of babysit you, and we're both going to, like, look after this kid yeah, or whatever. Yeah, cut to, I guess, shenanigans of them taking care of this man and and talking about how she's a lesbian. Like, And it's that that's, for, like, it, that's 45 it. minutes. Well, first of all, I mean, it's a really horrible scene where it's, like, you know the kid is being really annoying and then Ben Affleck he's thrown around the R word by the way in this yeah, movie yeah like, I honestly crazy. was expecting more then he like it, smacks him around he like pushes him against no, no, the he wall he calls him the R word and J- J-Lo's like hey uh, that, enough of that yeah but that yeah, was don't after do that. but then he's like shoving him and like pushing him yeah and, he shoved him um, uh, yeah, he's, he's a jerk it's like oh god this is like horrible and this is supposed to be a comedy I guess and then yeah I'm laughing I'm like <laughs> and another thing about this movie uh it's a note that constantly keeps coming up here is the fucking music is it one sucks. of the worst scores so I've ever heard. Do, 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 do. So this was an bad. issue with Scent of the Woman too. Oh. Uh, that's just like nonstop piano bullshit. And it's just so uh, inappropriate for so the scene. It's so overly sentimental. It reminds me of like f- music from like, you know, like a YouTube video where it's like every Oscar movie trailer. It's like that. Yeah. It's like trying to be heartfelt. And it's not just the juxtaposition. It's also just terrible music. Yeah. And it's not, it's, you can kind of see, it's like, oh, this reminds me of like uh, the music from, um, uh, fucking midnight run but mm. it's like it's so inappropriately placed in this movie uh, i wonder if that guy did midnight run the, the, no 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 uh the person who did geely was uh john powell who's a pretty good yeah um, he, we looked him up he's done good scores yeah, like a how to train your dragon yeah, that's uh, one of my favorites um, very good and the guy X-Men. who did midnight run uh is a famous like or at least i'm thinking beverly hills cop did he also do midnight run uh composer let me look I can oh, no, it was Danny Elfman the, that did Midnight Oh, yeah, Run. that's right. Whoa. I can still remember the theme song for that. And it, it, somebody on Twitter it was like, <laughs> the ending of any movie can be improved <laughs> by putting the Midnight Run theme. Yeah, <laughs> that resulted in some very funny It was really um, great. It was like the, the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. They're putting <laughs> the Ark of the Covenant yeah. in. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, now that's a good score. It's great. Um, this is a bad score, and it ruins every scene. Yeah, it's rotten. Just rotten. E- even like the scene where it's like Jennifer Lopez is basically explaining why she thinks vaginas are hot, mm-hmm. um, which like 
the dialogue is okay, but like this, the music is not sexy. It's like it's like da, 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 da. it's like <sighs> supposed to be romantic and sent and sappy. It's yeah. like throw some saxophone in there or something. Yeah, like, like sex it up. I, and these yeah. conversations they have gone so yeah. Every long. conversation goes on for what feels like at least five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, why this movie is two hours long. Uh, and J Lo's character, you know, she's a, a very zen and meditative, and uh, you know, has like uh, she Japanese. Does yoga. She has like yeah, she does yoga. She reads all these kind of like zen books. She has like kind of Japanese robes and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff, and blah blah blah. And he's just a Jersey hothead. Yeah. Um, so that's the dynamic for two hours. Yeah, I'm laughing. I'm I'm laughing. Uh, well, I mean, there's a scene where she like threatens a bunch of teenagers, and it goes on and on about how she's gonna pull their eyes out, and she just makes up some fake Asian word, and it's like we're supposed to be like, yeah, she's badass, but I don't like her in this movie, no. and um, yeah, her voice started becoming annoying to me. Maybe this is like the most I've ever seen her in a movie. I don't know. I yeah. haven't seen. I don't think any of her rom coms where she's no? just, I don't think Made in Manhattan. No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I haven't seen the wedding planner. I watched like two seconds of that and I was like, this is so annoying, I have to turn it off. You haven't seen Ants? No. <laughs> she was in oh, Ants. Yeah, that's right, she was. Jennifer Lopez uh, was in Ants. Oh my god. Hustlers, Marry Me, Anaconda. I did, I did see Hustlers, oh, but Anaconda, Hustlers is not on. a romantic comedy and neither Shotgun is Anaconda. Shotgun Wedding, Monster no. in Law. I, I have to catch those. up. No. I beg to wait. Who's Monster? Wait, is that Jane, Jane Fonda? Fonda? Oh, yeah. that's, so that's why she was in the, in the thing. Right, right. I am here. The now. backup plan? Uh, uh, nope. I haven't seen Second any of these act, movies. Shall We Dance? You're just making up these names. <laughs> Wasn't there a movie that came out recently with Owen Wilson? Where yeah, she, Marry yeah, Me. Yeah, Marry Me. Yeah, everyone, apparently, everyone said that was total dog shit. You're, you're literally just making up names. <laughs> of I know. Right? <laughs> but uh, like, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I, I, I've seen her in things. I think she mm-hmm. can be good, but none of these rom coms r- appeal to me. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Ben There's Affleck. a documentary that I saw online called Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez Never Say Never. Uh, mm. That says it's 57 minutes long and is about the love story of pop icon Jennifer Lopez and movie star Ben Affleck. Oh, but it only has 10 logs, so I'm like, does this exist? Is it like, new or like the first time? 2023. They, they oh, no. Okay, oh, wow. so them coming back together. Maybe it's a YouTube video. That's that. That makes it, it sense. It could be a YouTube documentary. Um, yes, that's. Uh, no, there's a teaser here. Uh, full movie. It's online. Yeah, at like, stash free documentaries. <laughs> Like, remember that Paris Hilton documentary that came out? That was only no. a vi- uh, It came out somewhat, somewhat recently where <laughs> a she... A Night in Paris? It's like, no, it's like... We're, it's very, very funny. No, it's like she, like, basically reveals, like, that her whole, like, persona was an act like we didn't know already. Mm. But anyway, that was only... You could only buy it on YouTube. That was the mm. only way oh, to watch God. it. So I never uh, All sex tape episode of No Such Thing as a Bad Movie coming. <laughs> Night in Paris. Thank you, too. Uh, Honestly, uh, I've never watched people. any of these celebrities. Oh, I too sex much tape. sushi. <laughs> I've never watched any either. Randy, <laughs> Randy Quaid. Uh, this is a, oh else. no, not the Randy Quaid <laughs> oh, one. No. Okay, so which so one? We get a we get a hilarious scene here, by the way, of Ben Affleck talking to himself in the mirror because he's going to hit on J Lo. Talk about embarrassing. The he's like flexing and stuff. And then he comes into the bedroom and he's like, you know, oh, trying to get into bed slowly and show his body off and stuff. And it's just like. Just sucks the energy out of them. <laughs> she reveals <laughs> like that this. she's gay, yeah. and you know, and then it's like, whoa, like, that's him for the rest of the movie. Ooh, what's gay? Ooh, you just gotta switch yeah. over to the it, other. It's team. not ex- as bad as chasing Amy, where he's like, explain to me what a lesbian is. Oh, like, God. it's not doesn't do that, but he do- he does like talk about how like. Oh my god, it's so offensive. Where he's saying like um, guys are better at at you know sex because they their uh, evolutionary drive or something. Ugh. So basically saying it's like default for people to be straight and therefore mm. you know, gay people shouldn't exist. Is essentially, what he's saying it is, is incredibly offensive. Yeah, he gets really angry when she like uh, insinuates that he might be gay or something. And, and like she that. does that the whole movie, which is I guess if I was her, I would do that too because it, she could tell it bugs him and it's funny. But it's also it's very like 2090s humor. Oh, I'm gonna insult you. Well, I'll just say you're gay. And the whole like nail thing is everyone was doing it at that time. Yeah, everyone, everyone, everywhere. Okay, now we finally get to my (laughs) all at once. (laughs) My favorite movie. The bad people calling each other that. (laughs) Finally, finally get to my uh, favorite uh, scene in the movie. 
uh, Christopher Walken shows up and like, thank fucking God, like somebody injects some life into this movie. He also had a uh, Super Bowl commercial this year. He did, yeah. Which was actually funny. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. And again, he's hemming it up here doing Christopher Walken. I don't care. It's like, it's like, the most watchable five minutes in this fucking movie. And you didn't even see the first part where he's just coming in and doing like exposition, but you're right. He's like scary. He's actually intimidating in this scene, which is something that, you know, he's playing up the walkinisms. Like we're going to get a, a big bowl a pie. We're going <laughs> to yeah. get some pie. His pie speech. But he like, he's like walking up to, you know, like just staring at, you know, Ben Affleck. And I'm like, fuck, he's, he's really intimidating. Like he can be very, very good. He looks like he's like about to like shank him or punch him or something. Like, yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I want to see him in Dune because, you know, I know. Mm-hmm. Supposedly Denny- he just does his walking thing. Like they don't make him do like, I'm in a boring Dune movie. Oh, like okay. Else. Well, but he's, he's not yeah. like, yeah, baby, let's get the spice. I hope so. <laughs> Welcome to Bed, Bath, and Beyond. <laughs> I've never seen Click. Now that wow. I think about it. Don't. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And well, never here it comes. Do, no, we're never doing it on this podcast. <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, that movie is one Have of the Have you seen movies. Click, the, Colin? No. It's one of like the first, not the first, but like it's it's... Probably my least favorite movie I think I maybe have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be true. Yeah, I really think it is. I Why? Abs- it's depressing. Uh, no, oh, yeah, because be- like he hits fast forward, Adam Sandler on the magic remote he does, and everybody grows old, and he's like, I didn't get to see them grow up. <laughs> I'm, I, it's sad. I, I'm <laughs> laughing now thinking about it. It sounds great. How okay, can anything be, with Chris Walken be depressing, though? Well, Nominated he- for one Oscar. No. Oh, for what? Click? <laughs> I'm going to look. I'm just looking at it. I don't have no. Right now. Best achievement in makeup. Oh, is Adam Sandler in like old age makeup in yes. this movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, do and it was done by Kazuhiro, who's like always winning awards for makeup because oh, he did wow. like um, Darkest Hour and uh, Curious mm. Case of Benjamin Button and Maestro. Oh, God. Ben Affleck. <laughs> the nose sorry. in Maestro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Christopher Walken plays the angel of death in that movie. And Wait, I'm so you don't want to see it just because it's sad? Well, I've seen it. What, in Maestro? It's horribly, horribly depressing. <laughs> I know. That sounds it's not funny. Ju- it's not just that. I want to see it. I, I, well, there's a scene. Oh, I can't even talk about it because you guys are going to laugh. But he what like is it? David Hasselhoff is his boss and he doesn't yeah. like him. So he, he oh, pauses it trailer. and then he like stands up on the desk and like farts in his face. <laughs> And I just thought it wasn't funny at the time. Oh, Maybe. man, that sounds so funny. Just yeah. you describing it is, I'm laughing. Yeah. The tears yeah. are coming out of my no, eyes. No, it's, and like, um, what, uh, Fonzie plays his dad, and he like, he doesn't pay attention to him, and he's like, okay, bye, son. Oh, and then no. he leaves, and, and like, <laughs> and he pauses it, and he's like, I'm sorry, I never paid attention to you. Like, it's the most depressing thing I've ever seen, and it's supposed what to be a did, comedy. What like, like a Sandler month? There's enough there. <laughs> Oh, well, we only do an episode every two weeks. Wait, so. Yeah, but our Patreon episodes are also <laughs> no, we all have, the sand. We man. have to wait for uh, the Spaceman movie to come out or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think, coming isn't out that soon. out? No, it's not. It's oh, coming out It's out soon. in theaters if you want to see it at the Tiff Light Box. Okay. Really? But, uh, Maybe yeah, we should go. It that actually looks good. No, no. It's supposed to be bad. Oh, oh really? It's yeah. one that's been yeah. sitting on the shelf for like three years no. because someone we know was supposed to watch it, I think two years ago. And, they're, mm. and Netflix is like, nah, we don't want to send it to you. Oh. <laughs> it's like, okay. they, should, they should replace Paul Paul Dano's voice with Christopher oh. Walken. Then you get man well, with Rob Schneider. The, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at uh, the t- Adam Sandler. So many bad movies: Pixels, Blended. <laughs> what about the hilarious Go- Eight or? 12? I also hate Fifty First Dates because it's very depressing. <laughs> um, it's that the con the whole concept is bizarre. I'm just laughing now, thinking of uh, Rob Schneider getting shot on with diarrhea in the <laughs> hilarious. Oh, Wasn't hilarious. the ridiculous, ridiculous Six? six. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do that one. Um, uh, the uh, we're, we're, uh, is, is he in the do over? Is that an Adam Sandler one? I don't yes. know what the do over is. It's him and David Spade. It's part of that like wild deal that Adam Sandler did with Netflix. Mm. Oh right, where he got to make like a million movies and just have all his friends, and they went on vacation, and all the movies were number one on Netflix. So it was the right <laughs> move to do. I've never seen any of those grown ups movies. No, no I haven't either. Oh, have I? Although kind of apparently thing. the lizard movie is good. The I lizard it's movie? It's a new mo- I forget what it's, it's called. It's animated. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, not okay. like Adam Sandler morphs into a lizard. That would be <laughs> he great. He plays a, chame- a, a, chame- a chameleon or something. I heard it's okay. Shoot that's, a, that's a Robert Smigel movie. Okay. He wrote it or he directed it? 
I th- believe he directed it. Oh, oh. I like Robert Smigel. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I'd watch that. What is it called? I want to say Bruno, but that's not Leo. Right. Leo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's what it is. Uh, now I want to talk about more Adam Sandler stuff. <laughs> yeah. We got to get back <laughs> to, to Geely. Geely. Okay. Well, maybe comment below if you would be interested just, in an Adam Sandler month. I just have like a note here. It's finally leaving apartment. It's like, <laughs> this is the first time like you leave. The, into the it's like cube. Yeah. We're not going to leave this <laughs> yeah, one location. Is. Can't it's leave like, the cube. <laughs> how could they not afford to leave the apartment? In this movie, seventy-five um, million. So they go to the hospital. No, they go to the outdoor like dining. They go to some takeout stand. Oh, that's where eating. he she yells at the the teenager. The teenage which boys. I mentioned. And yeah. then Ben Affleck has a great line. Remember it? Yeah, and he, he's like, "Nice laptop." Then he breaks it in half, and he's like, "Try going to suckmydick.com." I think he says <laughs> www because back then people were saying that www.suckmydick.com and then he uh, then we go to like Geely's mom's house he's got to like inject uh, insulin in her ass yeah and she's got like a big thong and stuff she's like you know mm, whatever that's supposed to be funny yeah. and then how dare an old woman be sexual yeah. disgusting <laughs> yeah and then he brings uh, J-Lo in and then you know she's like oh woo, she's they hit it off and he's like ah oh, she's gay and then they have this big like thing where the, the mom is implying that she like you know that she that she slept with women in you know college or whatever. Yeah, it's just um, like oh god. But yeah, I, I I feel like that's a kind of a positive scene where it's it's a little it's because she's just like you're not you, you know you're not really gay. You slept with men before, right? Just give him a chance. It's like okay, yeah. You know. It's like the world's not so black and white, Julie. Yeah, it's just supposed to be like a play on the like pushy mother-in-law you know stereotype. Yeah. But yeah, so she's out of the movie. And now my my next note is. Back at fucking apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Just go back. His apartment cost a hundred uh, million dollars to build, yeah. Colin. We gotta use oh it. My God. It looks so shitty. And now it's just like J Lo doing sexy yoga as like you know as he's as trying to convince her to sleep and then what is it they and I just said, ugh, this dialogue. This is it's just, just embarrassing. where she explains uh, why vaginas are, are the, the mouth of the body or something. Yeah. She's comparing mouths to vaginas. It's just so um, embarrassing. Don't slugs get involved too? Yeah, yeah the she penis is like penis a slug. Is a slug. Yeah. Um, but uh, you'll never guess that they actually do sleep together in this movie. Oh, it's um, just so bad. And it's like, it's so awkward, the sex scene. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's that's later, but yeah, uh, it's it's... Uh, Here's the thing we didn't mention. These two do not have any chemistry on screen. No, None. No. Nothing. Why is that always the case when real couples are in movies? You know, like Tom mm. Cruise and Nicole Kidman. And uh, I'm sure there's other Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Uh, no, they do when they meet oh, wait, on yeah, the set of the movie. Yeah, that's right. And they have an affair yeah, on the that's set. That's what happened yeah, that's to right. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. But like, uh, even though I was just talking about this the other day because we're talking about Spider-Man, but uh, Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone... They get together like on the set of one of those Spider-Man movies, mm-hmm. and I think they're kind of both terrible in that. But they do have chemistry. Like you can you can buy you yeah. can buy that they like well, each other at least. You also, know? Two also charismatic people. Yes, yeah, also exactly. very good actors. Well, exactly. <laughs> yes. But she's so bad in that movie. But it's not her fault. It's the dialogue. That movie's yeah. dog. I'm, 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 I'm talking about the this second is, one <laughs> specifically. This is the word of the episode: dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, both those movies stink. They're terrible. No, I agree. Uh, Oh yeah, so then uh, Ben Affleck gets a call from his buddy Louis. Louis, what's his name? Louis Viteri. I'm like still Lenny in this Venito. movie. Lenny, Lenny Venito. Venito, and he's like, "Cut off that kid's thumb." Ugh. And you missed it, but I think he calls J Lo. I, I, I can't All right. believe was I'm Colin even going like to say passing this. out while this movie no, was playing. No, no, he had keep saying <laughs> that Colin missed. Stuff. I had to. He I had, had to, to run up. downstairs to do a work thing on his computer. Oh, okay. I'm trying to like uh, just run a, uh, a render in the background. Yeah, he wasn't like, like yeah, Colin wasn't happened. there, but it happened enough times that I see he has like narcolepsy or the movie's so bad he like blacks out. No, I had he to, might have I had been to, in the bathroom or something. No, I had to go to Peru uh, for, <laughs> yeah. for a little jaunt. But no, he calls Jennifer You put a Lopez diaper a on like thing. I do and April does when we watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't miss a thing. Anyway, he says he's, he's like, get the clam liquor to do it. Oh, God, uh, really? Oh. Yeah, that's what he said. Jesus. And I can't, I, that is uh, vulgar. Yeah, so here, this whole section is just terrible. <laughs> April's monocle fell out. Yeah. Oh, my. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, April's monocle fell out, but Colin did something else happen to him based on that sound effect. Oi, he just oi, said. Oi. No, that was her. That was her monocle falling out, and it fell into. Oh, her, it has like a string. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, it fell into her yeah. grape poupon jar. <laughs> <laughs> so then we get a scene of the kid like dancing to hip hop in the in the kitchen, kitchen which is just. That's setting just up so for the embarrassing. end. J Lo's girlfriend shows up. In okay, this now this is bizarre, horrifying okay. scene. Do you guys want me to explain why why this is happening? Because yes. it's there's 20 minutes that were cut out of the movie. I'll save it and I'll say it when we get to the end of the movie. Okay. All right. Well, she yeah. ex girlfriend, you know, storms in, and it's the typical like, um, what does this guy have that I don't have? You know, you're my girlfriend, and J Lo's like, we're through. And she goes, but I don't care. Like, we could all have sex together in this bizarre, like, desperate attempt to keep her. Yeah, she's and, becoming really unhinged. And she's like, it's business. And I love that she keeps telling Ben Affleck to shut the fuck up. She's like, can you stop talking for one second? And then... She, we agree. Yeah. Yes. And, and then, bizarrely, this woman goes to the kitchen and slits her wrists. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. blood is like... And then just like... What am I watching? I was, sh- my mouth was open. I was shocked. I but was, but then speechless. it's just like brushed over, and she's yeah, fine. She's they're at the fine, hospital. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah they're it's at the like, hospital, well, and you never see her again. It's like in fatal. No. It's literally what happens in fatal attraction. Um, it, she's okay, but she literally cut her wrists. It, it's just bizarre. And then she's just left at the hospital. We never she's acknowledge fine, it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and while they're at the hospital, they uh, sneak into the morgue and cut a thumb off of a corpse. I mean, that's what I yeah, would do in that situation. Because it was asked of them to uh, cut off the uh, Jack's thumb and send it to, yeah. I guess, the prosecutor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and then we get this scene where he, Ben Affleck confesses his love to like... Oh, and it's it's just... a very like puppy dog, like, oh, feel bad for me. God. It's like, yeah, my life fucking sucks and I'm sleeping next to this bombshell and I can't do anything about it because she's a lesbian. And after this, this it turns her on apparently because she... Yeah, uh, he won me over. Yeah, he such, wore her down. Yeah, he's such a pathetic loser. And, and, then, uh, and then we get the uh, the line. It's a very famous line. It's turkey time. And he's like, what? And she's like, points to her crotch. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> 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 Oh, who, uh, talk, who talks like that? Oh, it's just making it's me turkey like, time. Gobble, it is gobble. making me cringe. So is he the turkey? Do you think they said that in the bedroom? <laughs> what, gobble, uh, gobble? Got, <laughs> no, yeah, gobble, gobble. He's saying it's turkey time, so you are a turkey. Uh, uh, anyway, it's I'm not going to dissect gobble, it. Whatever. No, she's the turkey. Yeah. And he's going to gobble Let, Let's break this down. Her. Yeah, <laughs> Gobble, gobble her. I want to see the. But that's uh, what turkeys say. I want to see like the seventy-five yeah, yeah. other takes that they did. <laughs> yeah, the other lines they tried. <laughs> Martin Breast. This was. What the, would it be? It's she's like, like, uh, my, like I'm my I'm a sty oink oink. Uh, you know, it's it's, pig, it's piggy animal? it's piggy time. It's piggy time. <laughs> time to pork. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's like it's time for a little ass. <laughs> <laughs> This is like uh, this is why it took eighteen months to edit. It was just like to this, edit. they couldn't pick the best, <laughs> the oh, best I, line. Too much to choose from. <laughs> oh, Martin Bress, you should be ashamed of yourself for oh, writing this God. turkey line. Yeah. So they bone. Uh, it is so uncomfortable. Yeah, and, and it's horrible again, music. This music, it's way too sentimental and sweet. Yeah. Like it's especially coming after that line. And then Ben Affleck has this really weird look on his face as he's getting boned it's yeah like, oh, it's sex face <laughs> oh! yeah. it's, it, it's it's awkward it's very very awkward <laughs> uh, then we go to or or arousing <laughs> sure not make any yeah. judgment on anyone boy, 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 boy. <laughs> so <laughs> we go to april put your monocle <laughs> oh, back sorry. we go to al pacino's house uh so hey. I, keep, I keep forgetting his name lenny Venito. do you think they just showed up to al pacino's house yes. and he's dressed the way he was because he just has like his tail. hair in a ponytail <laughs> i was thinking that could be his real house um <laughs> yeah that's could. what but i was thinking. i gotta say guys al pacino is fantastic in this scene i'm not joking <laughs> It's well, a re- he's asked to yell! I know, but like, it's a good performance in a different it's movie. Right. This could have won him an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, man, I haven't gotten an, a, a, a solid goal April opinion in a long time. <laughs> I stand <laughs> by you. what I say. I think it's a fantastic, like, it's you just, should, okay, students should be uh, doing this monologue in, like, uh, acting class. Yeah. Like, like totally. <laughs> 
and it's not just him yelling, but he kills Lenny Venito, and he's like, I feel like I'm floating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's, he's pissed off. He's, he's pissed off. He's like, look, you know. <laughs> I'm the turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Gobbling up the, the the walls of the scene. Oh yeah, Shooting he's eating. He's eating up the scenery. But um, yeah, so he he's like, I'm gonna beat these charges. Like, why the fuck would you kidnap the the brother of the prosecutor? Like, it was a stupid idea. Everyone is gonna come after us, you idiot. So he kills Lenny Venito, and then it looks like he's gonna kill them. And then J Lo like talks her way out of this. Like, I don't, I don't know, how. know how. Yeah, she's just like... Um, we're going to kill the brother, and then he can't, like, you know, connect us to the whatever. So Al Pacino just lets them go, and, like, that's the last you ever see of him. He he trusts her to do what she says she's going Much to do. Much like Christopher Walken, just in one scene, probably as a favor to someone. Yeah. Martin Brest, because, you know, the, uh, you know, the... the well, Christopher woman. Walken wasn't originally in only one scene. Oh, really? <gasps> Well, that's, that's yeah. okay. interesting. Well, we save it for the end because we're getting to the end. You're basically, here, so at the end, they basically yeah. just drop the kid off at the beach as they're driving. Because he ba- sees that they're shooting Baywatch. what he thinks is Baywatch. It's not actually Baywatch. I think it looks like it's a music video or something. Or uh, sure, it's just unnamed, whatever. So yeah, they they dump him off there. They call the feds, say, "Hey, come pick him up." Uh, he gives J Lo his car. <laughs> He's like, go get out of town, whatever. And he's like a, a loser. The the kid, they start filming Baywatch, and then he he just joins in as an extra and starts dancing on the it's beach. It's almost like an Elvis like beach party movie. Yeah, <laughs> and he like meets this blonde girl who's like, and, you know. And uh, he goes for it, and they dance. Put dance another together. shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, 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 yeah. she's very Australian. There's like a running gag that he keeps calling the Australian like weather service line because he likes the girl's uh, voice Yeah, and on then the phone. Ben Affleck awkwardly watches this conversation from across the beach for like what feels like forever. From like 100 feet mm. away, and he's like, <laughs> go for it, kid. Ask her out. Yeah. He's he's really happy. J Lo picks him up and says like, "Get in, come on." So J Lo uh, wants to be with this man. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, mm-hmm. they kiss. She's in this version of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Rochelle. Uh huh. Because like she won't tell him her real name throughout the Rochelle, rest of the movie. Rochelle. Yeah. Blah, okay. blah blah. Again, it's just every note that I have, every scene is just music is embarrassing. Music is embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> they play happening? this this corny score. <laughs> over them dancing yeah. to like you know they're dancing to like rap music because that's a thing he likes rap music uh, but they're like yeah let's get this music that's actually in the scene out and get this crappy score in just the worst it's uh, a bizarre so then we, yeah we end with this horrible song and the credits mercifully come up justin please tell us about the the there unco- was more yeah the director's now cut. it wasn't it was it's not better so <laughs> okay. uh, you're not gonna be like ah yes they recontextualize the whole film so <laughs> Uh, when the, I think he drops him off at the beach, mm-hmm. and then uh, J Lo picks him up, and J Lo says, "I am not actually a contractor or a hitman. It's I, I took my girl's job, my girlfriend's job, who's the woman who runs in and like slits her wrist." Oh, but why? I, I think uh, I'm trying to find out why exactly. There's a big paragraph you can find on IMDb of a critic who saw like an earlier cut of it. I think she just wanted to like live a different life and see if she could like do like be in someone else's skin. Interesting. Which is why she seems unsure throughout the whole movie about the things that she's doing and like she's talking tough, but it sounds silly. Yeah. Is because that's not who she really is. It does recontextualize the movie. Does it make it better? I'm yeah, but not it, sure. It, no, it doesn't make it better. <laughs> but then why? Because a reveal like that at the end of the movie is so silly. Yeah. Like, unless they're like hinting at it throughout, which at least this version does not do. So like the girlfriend still just slits her wrists. I think, she, yeah, maybe there's another scene with the girlfriend. Like, yeah. I don't know if there's, there's no extra context. If, all the scenes are the same, which from this reviewer who says, like, I don't remember all of it, but it seems kind of like that. Mm. Now, she, uh, Ben Affleck, does still do lesbian whispering and make her straight. <laughs> mm. But when she says, come with me, he says, I don't want to. Oh. And then she drives off and you don't see her for the rest of the movie. Well, like, that would be good because really, I mean, it's just such a, like, lame, like, you know, Hollywood ending. Like, Really, yeah. it's better. They need the Chasing Amy ending. They had their moment, but really, these people, they barely even like each other. So they should not be together, really. Um, he need, Ben Affleck's character, Geely, he needs to do some major self-improvement before he can yes. be with a, another so person. So he decides, like, oh, I'm going to be a better person. And he goes to, I think, see, yeah, see Christopher Walken, uh, who's a police officer in the movie. Mm-hmm. Right. 
and then Christopher Walken's like, yeah, but I'm betraying you. And Ben Affleck's like, no. And then he kills Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken shoots Ben Affleck. And then Ben Affleck goes to the beach and dies bleeding on the sand as he watches Jack dance with the Baywatch ladies. Oh, my ladies. God. In so the shots in the movie of Jack dancing and the re- weird reactions he gives to Ben Affleck are him looking at him dying in the original oh cut my of the film. God. No wonder he was making such yeah. a weird face. Yeah, I was like, why is he making this face? It's so bizarre. Yeah. I would have preferred that ending. Wow. And then Ben Affleck uh, in the reshoots, he's just like smiling and nodding at him. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, that's still a bad movie. Wow, that sounds terrible. Okay, well, yeah. it doesn't make it any better, no. <laughs> no, it would have been different. It would have felt less, because the way it is now, it just ends very abruptly. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess it's over. Yeah, it's a very lame ending. It's just mm. like, well, I, yeah, I guess we're together now, and the kid is dancing on the beach. Well, she but says it's like, she's is gonna... Al Pacino still going to come after yeah, us? Exactly. Or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, like, it's let's very just, strange. Let's just find somewhere clean, they say. Well, she said, like, yeah. he'll um, find him. She said she'll drop him off outside of town or something. I could give yeah. you a lift outside of town. So who knows? They might not stay together. You, you never know. Mm-hmm. I don't think I they don't should. Know. He'll talk his way well, into her heart again. W- it's bad. And like April's coworkers, uh, we should not remember it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it should not it. be remembered. Ugh. But I mean, I think I've letterboxed it has like some of the worst, like the most like one star reviews I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's really, really bad. Well, it is well bad. Des- well deserved. I mean, that. I did hear that it was kind of like a funny bad movie. No. Uh, no. 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 Um, it's not. It's in, uh, in, Although, I would watch that Christopher Walken scene and the Al Pacino scene. Those are both worth seeing. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything else, throw it in the garbage. The spice. Um, and also... Do you think he's going to say it like that? Yeah. The spice, spice is going to break. Spice. I want to hear him say Dude, it Dude, like, is he in that movie because he did the Weapon of Choice video? Because that song is about Dune. Oh, yeah. Uh, Walk with that rhythm. So. <laughs> and you won't attract the worm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I just I just solved a mystery. I in just my want own him brain. to say it. Yeah, then even nervous. Like, I just love <laughs> Fat Christopher Fat Walken. Paul, Paul, Paul Atreides is the Quizak yeah. Hadarak. He's going to say What's it. good about Christopher Walken is I'm sure he didn't know what movie he was in <laughs> and, like, doesn't know. Like, <laughs> how old is Christopher Definitely Walken? Definitely not at when this he was point? in G. He's got to be in He was so good in Severance. Did you watch that, Justin? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. Yeah. Emily said it was really good. He, you gotta see it. I don't have time for so many prestige TV shows. It's too much. I even love Adam Scott too. He's great. Yeah. It's a great show. Oh, there's 19 episodes. I guess it was the second season that just. It hasn't dropped yet. No. No. Oh, it hasn't but dropped it's, yet. It's coming out this year. Soon. It's, it's well worth like yeah. uh, watching. It's for fantastic. Sure. Uh, we didn't. Mention- I have Gundam to watch. I'm watching Gundam now. <laughs> we didn't mention Adam Scott at all when we talked about Madam Web. Um, oh, he's having fun in that movie. I think. Yeah. He's doing it yeah. Best he's good. He he's, he's Tune doing- in next week for our Madam Web Patreon episode. And- but it does feel like a movie that his character in Party Down would get. I totally agree. Yeah, I totally right. agree. It's like, oh, I'm in a... It's like, you got to be Abe Lincoln's best friend? No, it's oh. like, I'm in a Marvel I'm movie. I'm in a Marvel movie. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. Produced by Avi Arad. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. no. Not produced by Avi Arad. <laughs> yeah, very strange. Um, anyway, Geely is available to rent off uh, Apple movies. Yeah, don't. Don't do don't it. Do it. No. It's not don't worth do it. it. Don't no. do it. Let We're this warning. be the final... Uh, you know, nail the final this word coffee. Yeah. 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 yeah, don't do it. And it's like it's two hours or over, just over two yeah, hours. Yeah, it has no business being as long as it oh. is. And like, oh wait, like, I'm looking here. Sorry, Avi Arad update <laughs> that his name is on the Black Cat movie, <laughs> uh, which is a Spider-Man villain. Silver Sable, another forgotten <laughs> Spider-Man villain. That's right. He's involved with the Legend of Zelda. What? No, yeah, oh, no. no, I did hear that. Yeah. But is the black? He's one of the main guys is, on is it. Is Black Cat and Silver Sable coming out? I thought those no, were failed projects. No, that's been a pre-production. What about yeah. Craven I, the Hunter? Oh, that's coming out. That's done. <laughs> I mean, is, is Avi Arad's Abby? name on that? Oh yeah, it is. It is. Ugh. Did you see the trailer for that? That looked oh, so, yeah, it looks, it's so terrible. Bad. I want to see it. <laughs> that film also has. Um, like stuff that you can tell in the trailer it's probably like the post credit sequences yeah. Oh, oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. Well, it, it looks like an asylum movie or something and that was Whoa. An- go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well that was another thing we went to the uh one of the theaters during tiff and then they had a, a big crave in the hunter poster for oh. imax like, coming oh soon my God. actually not <laughs> the trailer looks so ugly like post-mode. the way it was shot too avi arad has the uh he has the rights to Naruto live action as well. Naruto? Naruto. Oh, yeah. that's an anime. Well, And what he produced, Borderlands, that terrible, oh, like... That's going to suck. That's good. That, that's that been on the shelf for years. And supposedly Eli Roth got fired from yeah, and, and Tim replaced Miller by Mr. Had to, Deadpool. Yeah, Tim yeah. Miller had to come in and reshoot it. 
But his name's not on it. Like Tim Miller's name isn't on it. It's I was surprised. Like, that, I don't know. DGA some, stuff. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I'm sure Eli Ross is fine. He turned around and he kind of like rushed through Thanksgiving before uh, Borderlands could come out. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Eli Ross' career is just so like baffling to me. I don't understand. He's bad. <laughs> like I just don't understand how he how he's a name. How he yeah. Gets he's movies. A thing. I mean, Thanksgiving was pretty fun. But that was pretty fun. Yeah, but it's just like how up to this point, like what the fuck has he done that, death wish sucks so much he, he has does clout is somehow in hollywood uh, i mean I, planet I, terror I, I liked i really liked uh cabin Fe- he didn't direct planet terror oh sorry that was robert, robert, robert rodriguez, rodriguez. He, was he was in yeah. it wasn't he cabin fever sucked. Uh, so he's in uh, death uh i remember loving cabin fever when i was a kid uh and i liked hostel when i rewatched it recently Ugh. after not liking it when i was a kid did not and like hostel it. too green inferno i hate knock knock but it's like every, didn't we he do, do like an podcast. earthquake movie as well? Yeah, my he starred in an earthquake movie oh. of a director that was canceled really bad. My, oh. my friend said that yeah. that movie was uh, scared the shit out of him. Mm. But yeah. I thought he was saying that Eli Roth directed it, which I guess no, he, was he didn't mistaken. direct it. Yeah, because that one yep. sat on the shelf for like a year and a half. Yeah, or was something. it called Pulse? Uh, no, I no, don't know. I don't it's called. Like... I saw it at uh, Midnight Madness when it played. Mm. Let me look here. He's not a good actor either. No, I don't, I don't think so either. It's yeah. just like he, I don't know, he's just a coattail writer of Quentin Tarantino, but Tarantino. Uh, the, the most offensive After thing shock, was like I he hosted, yeah, that's right, I think so. Yeah. He hosted some like <laughs> horror show and it was like, Master of Horror. Oh yeah, Eli the history Roth. of horror. <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah, the yeah. like Master of Horror. It's Eli like he's Roth. done like no horror like, movies. What the fuck? He's done a few. Yeah. Anyway, get lost. I got. I have a, you know almost a Kevin Smith like when he was doing Cabin Fever, and I listened to all seven commentary tracks on that <laughs> DVD. Uh, he very passionate. Followed him into Hostel, which at the time I didn't like. Then Hostel Two, which I didn't like very much. And then I was like, oh, he's in Glorious Bastards, taking the role from Adam Sandler. Oh, oh man, no, that that's been right. Adam Sandler. Yeah, that would have been Adam Sandler. I, I think it was an Adam issue, not a... Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, like, he was probably like, I don't feel comfortable doing this. But uh, Adam Sandler would have been great. Yeah, that, that would have been good. Would have loved to see that, yeah. Yeah, but then he's like, you know, you're going to have to work out. You're called the Bear Jew. And he's like, oh. no, da- no, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> can, I, can I do the voice? I can't do it. Adam Sandler, Sandler coming up again on this podcast. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be fate. It could be fate. Yeah, we're changing the name. It's going to be Sandler cast. Sandcast. 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 The Sandman cast. Sandcastles. That probably. Exists. Oh, yeah. We've got to call him the Sandman. I love calling the him that. Sandcastles. The Sandman. Uh, uh, hey, I- I'll say this anecdote again when uh, we do Sand, Sand Month. But uh, <laughs> he's supposedly very nice to everyone when he worked on Pixels in Toronto. Mm. Uh, you guys know Eastern U, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was his assistant on Pixels, yeah. and he said he was like super nice, and he would not, never, ever stop doing the voice. <laughs> he just does the voice. He does voice. the voice. Eh? He wow. does the voice. Like he's he doesn't taking a poop. He doesn't doing the voice. He doesn't seem like he'd joke. be an asshole. That's good to hear yeah. that someone from Hollywood isn't a huge jerk for once. Uh, don't look into know. his politics, oh, but he is no. a really rich guy. So, yeah. do, do, do. <laughs> do, do, do. Make America great again. No <laughs> welfare for anyone. It's going to be a month of, of, of us doing the voice. <laughs> I hate immigrants. I'm going to have to practice. We're yeah. going to have to do a voice. But no, you're right. We should do um, we should do Patreon episodes that are that are him too, but like they don't have to be new movies. They could they could be anything we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Well. If you want to email the podcast, we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com. And we're on Twitter and Instagram at no such thing pod. Please consider uh, supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie. And if you subscribe on the $5 level, you will get a bonus episode every two weeks. Uh, so we, uh, the next one is on, oh my God, Madam Web, a fantastic movie. So don't you <laughs> want to hear what we have to say about that, folks? I, um, I have a, a vision. <clears throat> you're gonna listen oh, wow. you're gonna listen to it twice we're gonna love yeah. it <laughs> and uh yeah <laughs> also uh we answer questions from the audience at the end of every patreon so if you uh want to submit a question or you want to hear us answer uh you know q a questions we're doing that now so uh yeah that's at the end of the uh little bonus apps and if you want to find me i'm on twitter and instagram at april at mansky you can find me on Twitter and all social medias under Justin DeClue and every week on the Very Fine Comic Book Podcast where we talk about comic books. It's a beginner show, so if you're interested, check it out. You can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Sandman. <laughs> Shabba <laughs> uh, Sergeant Zima, S-G-T-Z-I-M-A. 
And that's it for this week. Uh, we, we made it through Geely, you guys. Um, and also, uh, I don't think you need to watch I Am Here Now. I, I mean, uh, This Is Me Now? What is it? This Is Me is Now. It, this Is Me Now. Watch, <laughs> watch well, I Am the, Here Now. What is the Neil Breen one called? I Am Here Now. And much better, much better now. movie. Definitely watch that one. <laughs> that one's great. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, This Is Me. Uh, watch the trailer. I think you kind of get everything from that. Would you like it better if she came out and she's like, I'm a huge Neil Breen fan? <laughs> yes. I'd also like it better if, she, if all the songs in it were just if songs. it was her annual brief <laughs> her annual brief if the songs were songs like from her career and not these new mm. terrible songs that are bad no it's like uh she's just ripping off um uh, beyonce yeah and her lemonade thing yeah. Shit. yeah um yeah. but yeah that's it for this week thanks for joining us i'm april at mansky i'm justin mcclough i'm colin cunningham i'm not gonna do the voice <laughs> and remember there's no such thing as a bad movie <laughs> <laughs> Out of the room. Oh my god. <laughs>